In this video, we are going to go through chapter three, exercise three. So here's the finished product. This is what we're gonna be drawing. Um, and I will go to the canvas module. And over here, you can see your finished sheets and this is essentially what I'm going to be using as my answer key. So full transparency, here's your answer key right here. And we are going to begin a new, uh, new part. Standard English inches. And I'm going to just begin by doing the two cylinders. We have a cylinder over here with a diameter of four extruded a height of three, and then we have this top cylinder, which is a diameter of five, extruded one. I'll show you on the dimension sheet. So we have a diameter of four, extruded three, diameter of five, extruded one. So you can do that by just doing two sketches of two circles. I'm just gonna show you the revolve command again to, to kind of help practice with that. So the revolve command takes a shape and then revolves it around a center line. So you begin by drawing the center line that your part will revolve around. So I'm going to draw that and I'll make it the full height, which is the height of four. Hit escape and then hit center line again to get out of the center line command. And then just draw half of the cross section. So this would be 2.5 right here. It goes down one. It goes in 0.5 down to the end and close it off. And then finish sketch and then revolve that around. Again, you could have just as easily have done two sketches to get the two cylinders. Okay, now we're gonna draw that um, L-shaped section right here. And you might remember from a previous situation from an, um, another example that you don't really have a surface that you can draw that on. So we have to go to the little drop down of the origin to see if any of these planes will be a good surface to draw on. So I can do Y, Z, I can do X, Y. Those two both work for me. I'm gonna hit F7 to toggle between crossing it or cutting the cross section in half or not. I like to have it cut so I can see what I'm working with. And you could now draw that L shape. You could either just draw the overall geometry and then add dimensions later, or add dimensions as you go. I will just draw the overall shape first and then add dimensions afterwards. Okay, let's go back to the drawing file or the um, finished product to see the dimensions. Goes over 3.5, down one, over 0.5, up 1.5, close it off. And then this should already tell me. So we notice that, oh, there's a little gap right there. It moved. If that happens, um, one thing you can do is either add a horizontal constraint, meaning this has to stay over here, or you could hit dimension and tell it, I want the gap between here and here to be zero. And that'll get that, or that will solve that as well. And I think that's good, right? Over 3.5, down one, over 1.5. Did I already do this? Yeah, I did that as well. Okay. So I'm gonna finish that sketch and I'm going to extrude it, but I'm gonna now do it in both directions, a distance of four, because it goes the full width. Okay, so now I'm going to do a new sketch and I'm gonna do that little um, notch right over here. So that notch, if you look at the file right here, is kind of just a triangle right over there. So new 2D sketch, Oop, I'm on the wrong file, this is ours. Find your XY plane, hit F7, and then just draw your triangle. Go from this corner. And one thing you have to be careful of is making sure that you draw three lines, no more, no less. Because if I go from here to here, it sometimes kicks you out, so you're just clicking without continuously drawing a line. Again, you just wanna make sure you have your three lines, no more, no less. Line one, line two, line three. 
finish that sketch, extrude it in both directions. And what was that dimension? Looks like it's a half. Last step is to draw your, uh, your hole on top with a diameter of two. And again, my version is 2018. You probably have 2020. Um, again, for the most part, they should be very similar. Any differences that you cannot figure out, let me know and I can help you. So I'm going to do a hole, concentric. Concentric means two circles with the same center. Which plane? This plane. Concentric to what? Concentric to this. Diameter, two. And through all. And we are done. Do a file, save as, and we will call this chapter three, exercise three. Okay, now we're gonna do a new part or new drawing. You're all experts with starting it up, so make sure you change the sheet to size A and then get rid of the large title block to add in the small title block. My base view I'll put over here. Uh, it might be a little bit too large. I'm going to go ahead and make that a quarter. Hmm, it's all right. And then you can go ahead and annotate this. I'm going to hit annotate, and then I will be sure to add my center marks and center lines. So do center marks first. Make sure you get the largest circle, and that's the only circle I see. So I'll go over to center line bisector, and I see a center line bisector between these two edges over here, as well as these two over here. And I think that's it for center line bisectors. Okay, now I'm ready for dimensions. Remember, you always want to dimension a hole to the circle and a cylinder to the rectangle. So it would be incorrect to do this. It would be incorrect to do this. It would be correct to do this. This is the point five. Point A to point B, make sure you have that little gap there. Looks, looks good. And we're going to go from here to here. Oh, what did I hit? Make sure you have the diameter symbol right there. And I'm going to go from point A to point B. Um, notice how when I did that, it did not include the diameter symbol. I need that diameter symbol. If I chose this line on the bottom, I would have included it, but uh, if I pull it up, notice how there's no gap that appears. So I'm going to put it without the gap by doing point A to point B dimension, and then escape, double click, hit the left arrow key, and then insert the diameter symbol before. And now it's there. Okay. Let's keep adding some dimensions from here to here is 3.5. I think that's probably the best place for it, even though it's below and that's not preferred. I don't really like that there. It's too jammed. Let's say that this is one. I'll put that below. Again, you don't have to put the dimensions exactly where I put them. I'm putting the correct number of dimensions, and you should be following that, but you don't have to be putting it exactly where I do. If you can find a better place for it, hey, you might be very well be right. It's three right here. The overall height is four. I guess this is probably the best serve right here, but I'm going to put that to the other side. Is that everything? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's everything. All right, that wasn't so bad. Um, so if we're good with that, let's do a file, save as. We'll call it chap CH3 EX3, chapter three, exercise three. And then you can do um, file, export, PDF, and create a PDF of this. 
and this is the what you'll be ultimately submitting. So then if I go to my computer management or my desktop as I believe where I saved it. Yeah, let's go to my desktop.